Okay, so Grid Athletics makes the trip to C3 yeah. here in Iowa. Now, I thought my nephew and I were tough. We, <laughs> we, we drove 10 hours from Ohio, right? Yeah. The flight stuff was all, all jacked up, and I've got school in the morning. Um, we're going to drive through the night, but you guys are tougher. <laughs> Fort Collins, Colorado, how far did you guys drive to get here uh, to Iowa? It was about 11, 12-hour drive for us. So you win. You win the toughness contest. All right. Uh -huh. we're, we're sissies from Ohio. You win the, you win the tough man contest. Uh, <laughs> Good athletics. What are you guys looking to get out of this when you come to this? And how many guys did you bring? Uh, we brought five kids out um, this weekend, and uh, I guess we're you know just looking to always get get these guys exposed to, to more and more college coaches because I think um, I personally I've been around enough clubs now through because I grew up here in Iowa um, just down the road from here, and um, I've been around enough clubs to know that what we're doing in Colorado right now in Fort Collins is is the right thing to do, and I know we have high level kids, so just trying to get them exposed to as many people as we can. Is there a lot of, uh, you know, talent throughout Colorado and Wyoming that, you know, either goes, they go to the Midwest, you know, not a lot of them go to Northern Colorado or Wyoming, or, you know, they, they go to the, the Midwest or they go to the East Coast because the opportunities aren't as great, you know, out West, Rocky Mountain area. Mm -hmm. um, do you think you guys lose a lot of talent, obviously goes and doesn't stay in Northern Colorado, doesn't go to Wyoming? Yeah, um, I was actually just talking to someone else. I think, uh, to be quite honest, with you, I think Troy Nickerson's doing a really good job of trying to get keep those kids in state now that he's been there for a couple of years. But yeah, I think, especially right now, there's a lot of high level kids between between our you know the junior senior classes right now, and they're all looking all over the country to go wrestle. So it's like, pretty exciting to be in Colorado right now for the you know going down to the state tournament. And you got like CSU Pueblo. Yeah, CSU Pueblo. You've got like Western School of the Mines. Yep. What? It's not a ton of opportunity. There's yeah. under 10 schools of wrestling. Yeah, yeah you know, exactly. I mean, through all the divisions, right? And, mm. and you got one division one. Yeah. And you know, it's like, like Boulder doesn't have a team. You know, yeah. so so opportunities are limited. Yep. Um, but we do see the NCD D2 and D3 are adding. Yeah. Does every kid that you bring realize that maybe they're not division one? Maybe that there's going to be an NAIA or there's going to be an NCAA D2, D3 yeah. school here that they could they could potentially become interested in? Yeah, yeah, and I, and I talk to kids about that all the time because I, for me, myself, I started at D3 and then, then moved my way up after that. Um, and I, I just talk to them all the time that there's good coaches at every level. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter where you're at. Um, you can find, you got to find the right fit for yourself and what you're looking for. And, you know, obviously the D3s in Iowa are just incredible. Yeah. I don't know if a lot of people realize that the Iowa, yeah. the Iowa Division Three league is just nailed, man. <laughs> yeah. And obviously Wartburg leading the charge there. But mm -hmm. um, when you come here, what do you want the kids to get out of it? And what do you think that this, you know, what, do, what have you liked about the C3, the, you know, the, the, the combine here that, yeah. that Cliff and, you know, Compound put on? Um, I, I, really, I really enjoyed just, again, the exposure to the, the number of coaches that are out here watching, but also, I mean, getting, they get to go scrap with some guys from other states. Um, I think that's always beneficial. Get them out of, you know, their comfort zone of wrestling each other every every week, um, and they've shown a, a wide variety from basics to, to the funky roles and all that stuff. And um, I think it's been it's been a really good experience for the kids. They I actually just asked them, and they said that they they're going to recommend that other guys go next year. So, so even if this thing doesn't get that much closer to Colorado, we'll probably see you guys again. Yes, there's a very, very good chance of that. You're going to win the Tough Guy Award again. <laughs> All right. Maybe catch flights this time? Uh, probably not. We'll probably drive again. Oh, man. You yeah. guys are nuts. If I didn't have to drive, I wouldn't. But... <laughs> All right, do you got anything else for me? No, uh, I think that's it. Hey, thanks for the time. Safe travels to you guys getting back. Thanks.